Hello and welcome back to Android and iOS apps for your WordPress blog. In this video we will learn what is REST. REST is an acronym for Representational State Transfer. Remember the basic way how clients and servers work? Client makes a request to the server, server receives the request and then fetches the resource and then forwards that resource to the client. Client receives that response and then shows it to the user. This is the basic paradigm that has been in place since like forever. This mode of communication where client makes a request and the server sends some data or information in response to that request is called representational state transfer. HTTP is a protocol that makes use of representational state transfer. Whenever we want one software to interact with another piece of software, we need an API. API stands for Application Programming Interfaces. In this course, we will be building an Ionic app that will interact with the WordPress blog using REST API. So our WordPress blog will be REST capable and will feature a RESTful API that our Ionic app will use to communicate with the blog. Let me show you an example of an API. Head over to openweathermap.org, okay, go to the API page and right here you can click on this link. So you can see that whenever I send a request to this particular URL, I get a response which is highly structured. Let's have a look at the URL. The first part of the URL is the name of the server. Okay, after that we have the URL to a resource. Then we have a version number and then we have the name of another resource. After that we are passing in some parameters and here the name of the parameter is the city name which is London UK. Okay, along with that I am passing in another parameter which is basically used here for authentication and it's the app ID. We are not concerned about app ID for now but if we change this parameter let me type in Chicago here and I got the response for Chicago. So this is a response that I get for this particular URL. So I'm making calls to this Open Weather Map API and I'm getting a highly structured response. If you have a look at the response, it is just a collection of key value pairs. This type of structured data is called as JavaScript object notation. We will be dealing with JavaScript object notation throughout the course. Here we have a key longitude and its value minus 87.65. I have another key latitude and its value is 41.85. Similarly, I have other collection of keys like I have a key called main which has sub keys inside it. So the first sub key is temp which stands for temperature and the value of the temperature is 291.78. So I can use this data and convert it to information and present it nicely to my user. That is what we are going to learn in this course. We will fetch the data from a WordPress blog and then we'll display that data in our Ionic application. Our users will use the Ionic application to interact with the server. Our server will respond to the client using the RESTful API that we'll implement on our WordPress server. In the next video, we will start by setting up our WordPress blog and then we'll enable the RESTful API on our WordPress blog.